Four people now safe and sound, and the suspect dead after a hostage situation Saturday at a synagogue in Colleyville. Fox News correspondent Dan Springer has the latest on the investigation. Texas breathing a sigh of relief after a tense situation that could have ended in disaster. All of the hostages held inside the synagogue in Coleyville ultimately escaping unharmed after a tense standoff. This is something that you don't ever expect to have in your own city. Uh, the rabbi is a personal friend of mine. The attacker, identified as British national Malik Faisal Akram, first came in during the synagogue Saturday morning service. The rabbi, among the four people held, as the hostage taker could be heard on a live stream, demanding the release of Afia Sadiqi, a Pakistani neuroscientist believed to have ties to Al-Qaeda. She's currently serving an 86-year sentence in a federal prison in Texas for trying to kill U.S. military officers in Afghanistan. One hostage was released about six hours after the standoff began. The other three got out about four hours after that. A SWAT team entered the building and police announced a short time later the gunman was dead. We'll continue to investigate uh, the, sh the hostage taker. We'll continue to investigate his contacts. Our investigation will have global reach. Though it's not clear why the synagogue was targeted, both President Biden and the Israeli Prime Minister released statements praising law enforcement for their quick response and pledging to stand up to anti-Semitism and extremism in the United States. This was an act of terror. This is an act of terror. The FBI has not indicated whether the gunman shot himself or was killed by police as they entered that synagogue. None of the hostages were hurt. In Colleyville, Texas, Dan Springer, Fox News.